Hi, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. He's over. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Three on the main stop. Um, I'm here with Bill Cruz, who is the sustainability coordinator for the Yogi Grant at the Center for Island Sustainability. Uh, Bill, what's going on here today? So we're here today at 70 Supermarket in Dedido, raising awareness about the uh, Public Law 35-130, which bans the distribution of single-use carryout bags at retail stores and restaurants, effective January 1, 2022. So in just three months, uh, Guam residents are no longer going to be uh, receiving plastic bags from grocery stores. So instead, uh, to help the community transition, we're giving away uh, reusable bags at different grocery stores and uh, and retail stores throughout the island over the next several weeks. Okay, so can you go ahead and give me the history of the, the, the law and plastic bag law? Sure. So it went into the um, the law was passed in June 2018. And, you know, prior to that, there were many discussions about, you know, how can we reduce our uh, plastic pollution and, you know, Guam being, I believe, the last U.S. territory to to impose this this law. We knew that we were a little bit behind and we needed to get the ball rolling. So uh, we did, with the help of uh, Senator Regine Viscoli at the time, she helped to um, get this law passed. And so we're really excited in just three months, we're finally going to see this uh, this uh, shift in, in uh, behavior of uh, consumer behavior. And we're hoping that uh, this also translates to less uh, pollution in our environment. You know, we often see plastic bags littered in the in our in our jungles, in the sides of the road, at the beaches. So we're really hoping that this this law makes a big impact. Awesome. Uh, I know it's probably still too early to ask, but you know, you guys have your Guam Green Road Conservation Board, which you've seen up uh, weekly. So I'm wondering how much plastic you guys picked up since you guys started the project, or you guys don't have that data. You know, we uh, we actually do have that data. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head right now, but. Um, it's you know over the last it's been already about four months now and every single friday we go to a different village um some areas are a lot worse than others some areas we, we literally have uh trailers that have to come and pick up bags and bags of trash um other areas like uh just this past friday and uh we we went to in, down to inalahan and we, we cleaned up this area in malolo but we really only had about a bag of trash so it really just depends on the on the area on our island that we're addressing uh, some areas have you know illegal dump sites so those are definitely much more challenging than us just walking along the side of the road picking up you know like uh, cigarette butts and you know a can or two every few feet so it really just depends but we do have uh, we do have the data that we can share with you at some point awesome so uh how many uh reusable bags are you going to provide for that and what are your other options for the rest of the day? sure so we hope to give out one to two hundred bags at each uh, store and um, we purchased so with this first um, order that we have we purchased five thousand so um, we're hoping that can last us for the events that we'll be uh, we'll be having over the next several weeks so um, for this week you know today we're here at 70 market in in Dededo. Um then on wednesday we'll be at half day market in Vigo. Um, thursday we're hoping to uh, do two places hopefully um, the market store and Gangnam Mart in Kumuning. So we're, we're, our goal is to kind of go to the most populated villages down to the uh, less populated villages. Okay, and so, you know, um, why is it, I mean, you seem so passionate about this, you know, why should island residents start to use, uh, start to use these bags instead of plastic bags? Yeah, so, you know, uh, one thing that we were having a discussion about, you know, uh, how are, you know, how are the people of Guam going to feel about this, uh, no more plastic bags, and we understand that plastic bags are extremely convenient, you know, it's very easy to go to the store, not have to worry about bringing, you know, some type of container to hold your things and be given a free plastic bag. And then, you know, people, people take it home, they can, they reuse it for a trash bag. But um, a lot of times we just really take a step back and, and look at the impact that distributing plastic bags, like in, the, in this way, as in our environment, seeing the, you know, with us, we see all the trash when we do our cleanups at the, uh, uh, weekly at the different villages, um, going to the beaches, you, you know, you often see plastic bags littered. So, I, I'm hoping that people will take a step back and see the harmful impact that plastic bags can have on our, have on our environment. And making a small step and a small behavior change, like bringing your own bag, um, is, a, is a big step towards a more uh, sustainable future. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add on the mic is yours? Okay. Um, I guess if people have more information, you can always visit us at guamgreengrowth.org. Um, you can also follow us on social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And it's just at guamgreengrowth, one word. Awesome. Okay, so well, the community is invited and has an opportunity to stop by Seven Day Supermarket until 8.30 this morning, so we have about 20 minutes left uh, to get a free reusable bag until 8.30, just how the bag looks. Uh,
for you live and then it'll for you in while we get there. I'll get back to you in studio, Chris and Bree. Thanks a lot, um, Isaiah. In your newscast now, uh, since Friday night, Guam recorded three additional COVID-19 related deaths. The 236 COVID-19 related fatality occurred at GRMC on October